In this video, Arduino library will be created for ultrasonic sensor HCSR04 to measure distance between sensor and objects. To learn the theory of HCSR04 sensor, interface with Arduino and programmed using assembly language, please refer to a previous tutorial. A link to that video is available in the description. The basic operation of the HCSR04 sensor is as follows. Microcontroller will send a trigger pulse, which has a pulse width of 10 microseconds and it is repeated every 60 milliseconds. The sensor will receive the trigger pulse and respond by sending 8 pulses at 40 Hz ultrasonic waveform to the object. The reflected waveform is then picked up by the sensor and the sensor will then generate the echo pulse. The width of the echo pulse is proportional to the distance between the sensor and the object. The timer inside the microcontroller can be used to measure the echo pulse width and from this measure and calculate the distance between the object and the sensor. This circuit diagram shows the interfacing of the ultrasonic sensor with the Arduino. The trigger line can be connected to any available digital pin. Here we are connecting it to D9. While the echo line must be connected to pin D8 because pin D8 is programmed as input capture pin for timer 1, which is used to measure the echo pulse width coming from the sensor. Before we create a library for the ultrasonic sensor, let's see how we can program the sensor using C++ and assembly. In this sketch here, we are including these uh, assembly subroutines, which are found in the S file. This function will set the echo pin for input. This function will use timer1 to capture the rising edge of the echo pulse. This function will capture the falling edge of the echo pulse. This function will clear timer1. This function will use timer 0 to introduce a 10 microsecond delay. And this function will introduce a 1 second delay. The assembly code of these functions are found in the S file. And they were explained in detail in a previous video. A link to that video is available in the description. Inside the loop function, this function will return the distance in centimeters and the distance is then displayed on the serial monitor. Inside function distance, microcontrol will first send a 10 microsecond trigger pulse. And then this assembly function will use timer1 to capture the rising edge of the echo pulse, which is represented as a 16-bit captured count value. The low byte of the count value is in this register, we save it. And the high byte in this register, we save it in this variable. This assembly function will clear time 1 so that time 1 can detect the falling edge of the echo pulse. This assembly function will capture the echo pulse. And then we save the low byte of the count and then save the high byte of the count and then we clear time 1 again so that time 1 is ready for the next rising edge of the echo pulse. Next we combine the low byte and the high byte values to generate 16 bit of the first count and we do the same for the second count and then we use this expression to calculate the distance and then return the distance value in centimeters to the calling function. Finally, this do while loop here will ensure that if the calculated distance is negative or greater than this value, then the distance value is ignored and the distance is recalculated through the do operation. The next step is to create a library for the sensor. We begin with the header file where we create our class, which contains these uh, public members. We have a constructor that has one argument, which is the value of the digital pin to which the trigger is connected. And we have two public methods which are defined in the source file and we have this private global variable. Next we create the source file 
first we include the created header file and then we include the function prototypes which are written in assembly and found inside the S file. Next we define the constructor which enables the user of the library to create objects and uh, also indicate to, to which pin the trigger is connected. Next we look at the public methods. We have method set echo pin which is used to first uh, set the pin mode of the trigger pin which is output and this assembly subroutine is used to set the echo pin for input. Next we have method get distance which is used to measure the width of the captured echo pulse and then calculate the distance in centimeters between the object and the sensor. After the library is created and installed within the Arduino IDE, we can now have a look at the available example sketches. We begin with this example which displays the distance in centimeters on the serial monitor. We start by including the created library and then we create the object and indicate that the uh, trigger line is connected to digital pin 9 of the Arduino. Inside the setup function this function will set the echo pin for input. Keep in mind that the echo line must be connected to digital pin D8 since timer 1 is used to capture the echo pulse. While the trigger can be connected to any available digital line. Inside the loop function we get the distance from the sensor in centimeters and then display it on the serial monitor. In this next example, we will display the distance on I squared C L C D. We need to include two libraries. The first one is for the sensor and the second one is for the display, which was created and explained in a previous tutorial. Note here, a warning message will appear on the display if distance drops below 5 centimeters. In a future video, a library will be created for the rotary encoder KY040. Thank you for watching.